por los siglos. So we reach today billions of Christians. Pues yeah. han de uh, out of this uh, beginning movement. De este, de este primer movimiento que empezó. We had then this other movement. Tenemos estos otros movimientos. You know the the mm -hmm. movement here in Thessalonic. El movimiento aquí en Tesalónica. That is the north of Greek. Este es el norte de Grecia. And then Achaia, the south. Y en Achaia al sur. And Paul says, Pablo dijo, I came to you to Thessalonic. Yo fui a ustedes en Thesalónica. Each one of you. Cada uno de ustedes. I was discipling. Yo lo estuve discipulando. Uh, like a mother, como una madre, with the children, con sus hijos, raising children, criando sus hijos. So I was treating you, les crió ustedes, and you spread out, ustedes se esparcieron, and you filled the van, whole Greek, ustedes llenaron toda Grecia. Yeah, and then we have this uh, Ephesus, tenemos este movimiento de Éfeso, the capital of Minor Asia, la capital de Asia Menor. The Ephesus is here at the border. Ephesus está aquí en el borde. And here are Colossae. Y aquí está Colossae. And here are the seven cities from the Revelation. Aquí están las siete ciudades que, so, que menciona Apocalipsis. All these places. Todos estos lugares están all aquí. started the movement. Todos empezaron movimientos. So then we have <coughs> this two two two. Luego tenemos esta regla de dos dos dos. So that is the key principle of a multiplication. That is the key point of a movement. What you receive, you give now. What you receive, give now. That is a movement. That is multiplication. So that is what we have to train our people as soon as they get saved they start to give. If they are saved they go and save other people. Not waiting. Immediately if they are saved they go and bring others. And then when they receive more when they receive discipleship they go and make others to disciples. If they grow in discipleship that is what we call a discipleship chain. So basically the principle starts one day after they get saved. So when they get saved, se salva, when they are baptized, they are baptized, receive the Holy Spirit. El Santo, so next day, día, they can start to give to others what they receive. So you remember to the rabbit. ¿Se de, del, del, del that is the benefit of the rabbit. Es el del the rabbit starts immediately. El and is not waiting 18 years. No espera 18 años para <laughs> like the elephant. Como el and that is really crucial. Esto es so I think, Yo creo, in the day after baptism, que el día del bautismo, we should go with our disciples together now and start to share the gospel with others. Empezar a con otros. So, so he learns from the first day on. Así que aprende desde el primer día él. Not wait a week. A no esperar una semana. Not wait a month. No esperar un mes. And for sure not wait 18 years. Por seguro no, seguro no esperar 18 años. Immediately. Inmediatamente. That he learn what he receive. Que aprenda que lo que recibe. He has to give. Tiene que darlo. And by giving. Y dando. He will receive it more for himself. He will be stronger. As soon as he starts to give the gospel, he will be stronger in the gospel. That is the principle of the kingdom. So by giving, he receives. And whatever he received, and here is, yeah, you know the, the verse, maybe somebody is reading. That is uh, the key verse in the New Testament about, about uh, yeah, for sure, that will be a question in the exam. What are the, uh, these uh, four levels? Maybe we read. God is interested in much fruit. So that is the principle here. Much fruit. God expects not a little bit fruit. He expects from us not and one one convert every five years. That is why he called us that we bring much fruit. And then he will clean us and go on with us. So we bring more fruit. More than much. And then it must be remaining fruit. 
So not converts. Así que no, no convert, convert, disciples. Sino discípulos. Converts are not remaining fruit. Los convert, los, los conversos no son fruto disciples. Pero los discípulos. Are remaining fruit. Los frutos que permanecen. Much fruit. Mucho fruto. More fruit. Más fruto. Remaining fruit. Fruto que permanezca. And the Bible is not um, is bold enough to to speak in numbers. La Biblia eh, no no tiene reparo en hablar en números. If you read the book of Acts, si hablas el libro de los hechos, you see that is real numbers. Puedes ver que ahí se habla de números. So God is a God who is interesting in numbers. Dios es un Dios que se interesa en los números. Three thousand get baptized. Tres mil fueron bautizados. Every day, cada día, a new person came to the house church. Una nueva persona se añadía a la iglesia en casa. The growth was from three thousand baptized. El crecimiento fue de tres mil four thousand men. A, a cuatro mil hombres, women and kids, con hombres y mujeres, who were baptized. Que fueron bautizados. A lot of priests came to faith. Muchos sacerdotes vinieron a la fe. The number was increasing. El número empezó a, a crecer. So God is really interested in Dios, much fruit. Dios está haciendo mucho énfasis en mucho fruto. He likes it. Le gusta. He is a fan es of un, much fruit. Es un aficionado de mucho fruto. So normally we think. No, God is only interested in faithfulness. So, a veces pensamos que Dios solo está interesado en la fidelidad. In small, small steps. En el paso pequeño, pequeño. No, that is not true. Sí, no, no es verdad. God is really interested. Dios es realmente interesado. Much fruit. Y que traigamos mucho fruto. Yeah. We had this example from the. Tenemos el ejemplo de, de, de from the rabbits. El elefante y el conejo. Uh, we said these are the the principles. Y dice estos son los principios. That can be a question in the exam. Pues puede ser una pregunta de exam. Why are the rabbits so successful? Por qué los ponen? It could be a question. Por qué los ponen tan exitosos? Why are the rabbits so successful? Por qué los ponen tan exitosos en la multiplicación? Yeah, they are always ready. Siempre están listos. Yeah. Yeah, that is uh, that's always ready. Siempre están listos. Not only Sunday morning or something like this, you know. Siempre están listos. They start early to multiply. Empiezan temprano a multiplicarse. Not we wait till somebody is a full disciple. Esperamos que alguien sea un gran discípulo. Y luego empiecen. As soon as he got some, tan pronto como recibe algo, he start to give it. Empieza a darlo. As soon he is disciple, tan pronto como es discípulo, he start to disciple. Empieza a disipular. And so he is growing, and his disciples are growing. Su discípulo va creciendo. And we have this discipleship chain. Tenemos esta cadena de discipulado. Yeah, and whole groups. Grupos enteros. Seven babies, you know. Los conejos hacen siete bebés. Siete and grupos, grupos. They don't need so much time Necesita for the multiplication. Mucho tiempo para multiplicarse. Today we need 20 years. Hoy necesitamos 20 años. And somebody is a mature Christian, you know. Para que alguien sea un cristiano maduro. And we said no. Dijimos no. After three years. Después de tres años. He must be fully. Debe ser completamente. Trained, you know. Entrenado. He can go on. Yeah. Puede seguir adelante. Yeah. The rabbit is a multiplication curve. Uh, next question. We said everybody can reach the world. Everybody can reach the world. You know, even if we make disciples, in three years, four disciples. In reality, we are not waiting. Estamos esperando. Another four, three years. Tres años más. That these five now also make disciples. Para que estos cinco también hagan discípulos. In reality. En realidad. As soon as we have the first disciple. Tan pronto como tenemos el primer discípulo. He start to disciple. His también, disciple. Él también empieza a discipular a su discípulo. So in fact the curve is even much bigger. Porque en la realidad la, la curva that, es mucho más grande. That is very conservative. Esta es una visión numbers, muy, muy conservadora. Yeah. But we see here the huge potential. Pero vemos aquí un gran potencial. What is in it? De lo que está en esto. Uh, the the the, the, uh, the most critical question La pregunta más crítica es, in this is that we go for a multiplication of numbers. Que vayamos por la multiplicación de números. A multiplication of quantity. La multiplicación solo de cantidad. And not a multiplication of quality. Y no una multiplicación de calidad. So we have to, to work very serious. Tenemos que trabajar muy seriamente. That we don't forget. Que no nos olvidemos. Every quality step. De cada paso de calidad. And that is why we have a list. Por eso que tenemos una lista. We said that are the 16 topics. Y decimos que son 16 temas. We have to train them in the first years. Tenemos que entrenarlos a ellos en los primeros años. And we check it. Lo revisamos. And we do it. Y lo hacemos. And we plan it. Y lo planeamos. 
So I often hear, Yo a aquí, yeah, that we cannot do in our culture. Escucho a personas que dicen, no, no hacer en cultura. You know, in our culture in Himalaya, si en cultura en el Himalaya, we are not like you in Switzerland. Somos como ustedes en Suiza. We don't make a plan. Nosotros no planificamos. We don't make a, an outreach plan or the, no hacemos un plan or a discipleship plan. O plan para discipular. Yeah, that may be. Eso quizás. But it's not right. Pero no es correcto. So the discipleship is a serious work. El discipulado es un trabajo serio. And If the culture si la cultura is different, es diferente, then we have to work counterculture. Tenemos que trabajar en zona contracultural. There are aspects in a culture. Hay aspectos de una cultura. They are godly. Que son de Dios. And there are aspects in a culture. Hay aspectos en otra cultura. They are non-godly. Que no son de Dios. But there are aspects in the culture. Son aspectos de la cultura. And not to work. Y no, no trabajar. Serious and precise with the disciples. Seriamente con el discipulado. That is not a godly. Part in a culture. Es una parte de Dios de la cultura. That is a, a, a part in a culture we have to fight against. Es una parte de la cultura con la cual tenemos que pelear. In the discipleship we have to introduce en el tenemos que a very serious system. Un sistema muy serio. Uh, the system can may be different, el sistema puede ser diferente, but, but not this less a fair style. Pero no un estilo, un estilo, un estilo no, de this tesoso. week I'm not doing next sí, week no, 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 maybe I go and, and the guy is not around o sea, yo voy, el chico no está. that is criminal Esto es un crimen. that's spiritual criminal Esto es un crimen espiritual. that are babies Hay bebés. and the babies need y lo bebés necesitan. their food every day Su comida cada día. they need our love every day nuestro amor cada día. you can notice yeah, in our culture no decir, no, que nuestra cultura, we are not like this no somos así. we don't fix the time no, no, no fijamos tiempo. we go and nobody is around Vamos And then we go uh, not next week, and then Vamos we. Semana y así. That is a killing factor. Eso es un factor que mata. That is a strategy from the enemy. Es una del enemigo. So in the discipleship, que en el discipulado, we have to be serious. Tenemos que ser muy serios. Uh, that is because God likes to have por eso, much fruit. Porque Dios le gusta que tengamos mucho fruto. And we fruto. lose this fruit y perdemos este fruto if we are not faithful. Si no somos fieles. So I think that is not Swiss style. Yo creo que esto no es algo suizo. That is kingdom style. Es algo del reino. And sometimes the kingdom culture una vez la cultura del reino, is against the local culture. Hay contra And in the discipline, y en la disciplina, uh, that we learn from Paul. Lo aprendimos de Pablo. He said, "I am like a sportsman. Dice, soy como un atleta. I really discipline my body. Yo realmente disciplino mi cuerpo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I discipline my body. You know. Disciplino mi cuerpo. I do daily my sport. Diariamente hago mi deporte. I run. Yo corro. Because I like to be the winner. Yo soy el ganador. I run through till the end. Yo corro hasta el final. I work more than all of you. Yo trabajo más que todos ustedes, dice Pablo. Says Paul. I work more than all. Yo trabajo más que todos ustedes. And he says I pray more than all. Dice oro más que ustedes. That's very interesting. Muy interesante. Paul said I pray more than all of you in tongues. Pablo dice yo oro más que todos ustedes en lenguas. And I work more of all of you. Y trabajo más que todos ustedes. So apostolic people are workaholic. La gente de trabajo, eh, apostólica es un loco por el trabajo. That is a biblical workaholic. Es un tra no, no. Uh, un trabajo bíblico. There is a rest for the people hay, of God. Hay descanso para la gente de Dios. But really, uh, we see with Paul. Pero realmente vemos en Pablo. That was not a, a lazy life. Que era una vida perezosa. Cursed are the ones who do the ministry in the kingdom lazy. Malditos son los que hacen el, el, el trabajo del reino con pereza. And that is a big problem. Es un gran problema. I see that laziness is in the kingdom. Creo que hay pereza en el reino. Because when we go through the work, porque cuando vamos al trabajo, the normal work, el trabajo normal, more where we get money, donde es que ganamos dinero. Then people go every day. La gente va cada día y they have not the idea. No tienen la idea. Today de... I am not encouraged. Ah, hoy no tengo siento ganas de ir. They have to go. Tienen que ir. If they are sick. They have to prove from the doctor that is my sickness. Then they are released. They go at time because otherwise they are fired. So we have a standard in working. And this standard, we think that is never possible in the kingdom. Why not? If even the world has standards, How much more más the kingdom can have standards? So there is really something strange in our thinking. That we think in the kingdom, that is freestyle. 
because yeah, we don't get the salary. It's only for the Lord. He anyway is graceful. He will understand. But our boss in the company, no, then we are fearful. Then we are at time. Then we work eight hours per day. You know, that is... Uh, so here, I think we need to be careful. Huh? I think that is the word in John 7. That in us, the Holy Spirit will open a source and then from inside out are flowing rivers of blessing out of our body to the nations. So rivers of blessing. That is also something huge. That is not a little bit blessing. Not three drops when the Catholic no, no, Church. No, 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 Rivers are Rios, coming out here. Rios que salen. I think such discipleship movement este that is one expression es una of a river of blessing. De un río de there are other rivers of blessing. Hay otro río de the life of the Holy Spirit. La vida del Santo. The power of the Holy Spirit. El poder del Santo. But one is also this discipleship Pero blessing un río river. Es, es este, este río de movimiento, movimiento de Let tomorrow go back to a text in the Old Testament who Testament. speaks about this river of blessing. Que habla acerca de este río de it's interesting we, we look to this example from uh, my friend Roderick. And then, uh, yeah, just when I left here the room, when I went to the other room, he sent an uh, email to me and said, I would like to show you the numbers from. Uh, last year, 2018, uh, th that was uh, funny for me. We had this number. So that is now uh, the statistic, what he, what he uh, said. So from 1992 on, uh, they have now all together, uh, these are the number of churches, house churches. So they have really now around 60,000, 58. This year, last year, they had 66,000 baptisms. So together in their movement, in their DMM movement, are now nearly 700,000 people. And that are the leaders of the houses. So the, the deacons, what they train. That, that was uh, encouraging for me. Uh, they had... Uh, yeah. yeah, that is in one year, 5,600 new groups. Yeah. Okay, it was encouraging. They had a good... Yeah, they had more, you know, they had the plan to have 50,000 baptisms, but then they had 66, you know. 50,000. 50, expected, prayed for. But it was, it was then 66. More and more, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That is the place where we work, and that is the we did in uh, February. In February, we did 2014. In 2014, we did exactly such training, like we did here, in uh, here in the east. Here in the west of India. Here is Nepal, Nepal Bhutan, Bhutan, and then China, China or Tibet, Tibet, Tibet China, Tibet, and then Bangladesh. Bangladesh. So in this area here, in this area here we did the training. And we sent out the people here to Bhutan, a Bhutan to the east, al este, to Nepal, a Nepal, and then Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. Y luego, uh, we sent them out there in different places. What happens now till uh, 2018? So 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Huh? 
five years, cinco años. That is, uh, that was very simple people. Fue gente muy simple. You know, a lot of these people were not really able to read. Muchas de estas personas ni siquiera podían leer. Or to write. Or to read. Uh, so they had the exam that was very hard. Para tener el examen fue difícil. Because they have no text. They all they have to hear it and to think about. Para estudiar tenían que escuchar y pensar. And then they give the answers and somebody was writing down. Y alguien decía la respuesta y alguien la escribía. But they did it. Pero lo hicieron. And now we have around ten movements with this thousand baptized people and with these hundred groups. But we have seven generations. So the average was now uh, in this five year it multiplied seven times. So that came out. From this training in Himalaya. So the openness, así que la apertura, the openness uh, is not so open like here. No está abierto como aquí. It's not totally blocked. No está totalmente cerrado. But it's really more difficult, Pero much difícil, more difficult to evangelize than here. Evangelizar allí que aquí. The style is the same. El estilo es el mismo. You go out in the villages. Sales en los pueblos. You pray for the sick. Oras por los enfermos. And then share the gospel. Compartas el evangelio. And God is doing it. Dios lo está haciendo. So we had every day. Lo tenemos cada día. That the blind could see. Sí, o que ven. A paralyzed stood up and walked. Paralíticos que se levantan y caminan. And uh, even then, some dead people raised. También resurrecciones. So that that was standard. Todo era lo normal. But the development was el desarrollo fue now out of this first training ahora de este primer entrenamiento we have now 200 teams tenemos 200 equipos ahora en el área in this whole area en toda esta área because the teams porque los equipos immediately start to train others inmediatamente empezaron a entrenar otros equipos otros equipos and, and, train train others. Others. and form other teams formaron más equipos so out of this beginning teaching de esta, de esta primera enseñanza we have now 200 teams all over Himalaya. Himalaya. The area is huge. El área grande. It's uh, 65 times Switzerland. You know, 65 it's, a, it's, a, it's a huge area. Es un área muy grande. But it's spread out. Pero because the trainees, Porque los aprendices, they went to these places a estos lugares, and started always both things. Y empezaron las dos cosas, they siempre. start to make disciples, a hacer discípulos, form groups, formaron grupos, and multiply, and multiplicarlos, trained, entrenar, other sent ones, otros enviados, form new teams, group, nuevos equipos, let them work. Y enviarlos a trabajar so, también. That was the normal principle. Ese fue el principio normal para ellos. So, yeah, that is not bad. Esto no está mal. It's also not very good. Tampoco es muy bueno. It is Disciple making movement. <laughs> That's the daily work. And that is what we have to do. We fill the earth with such rabbits. And they produce and produce and that is how we cover the earth. The glory of the Lord will cover the earth as the water covers the sea. Yeah. And multiply and fill. So I'm sure everybody of us is able to do it. I saw it with these people. You know, they had not 10% of the knowledge of the Bible what you have. Not, not 10%. They were, some were very new in faith. No good church around, nothing. They only heard it in the Bible and they went and did it. So, yeah, I see no excuse no veo ninguna excusa that everybody of us para que ninguno de nosotros, para que todos nosotros can do it. Que podamos hacerlo. If he is not doing it, si no lo hacemos, there are other reasons. Hay otras razones. That is not a problem that he ne could not do it. No es un problema de que no puede hacerlo. So that is more a problem that he don't like to do it. Es más un problema de que no quise hacerlo. Or he is not disciplined to do it. O que no fue disciplinado para hacerlo. But if he is doing it, pues si lo haces, I I'm nearly 100% sure it will work wherever you start because that is what Jesus says so he will bless it and he likes to give movements so at the end we should do such trainings put all of us in a military airplane and everybody has a 
Yeah, para sure. Galoo, ah, para And then we are flying over South America. Y volvemos volar por Sudamérica. And so every 10 minutes, cada 10 minutos, we push two out. Para dos para push two out. Para. And wherever they come down, donde se caigan, put off. Se quitan el paracaídas. And then they go out. Y van salen. And then they call. Y llaman. Their home church. A su iglesia en casa. And said, yeah, I'm here in Paraguay. Estoy en Paraguay. No idea. People speak so strange. La gente habla raro. Qué chulo. Can you come? <laughs> Give us some good teaching. Enseña a Guaraní. Enseña a Worship Group. Enseña a Grupo de Danza. No, 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 no. Wherever we are landing. Donde sea que caigas. We look around. Pues mira. Next people we catch. Y gente que encuentre la trampa. And then we start the movement. Y empezamos un movimiento. I think that would be a very effective way. Puede ser una forma muy efectiva. Then the question, where should I go? La pregunta es dónde debo ir. At the end. Al final. It doesn't matter. No importa. If you are there. Estás ahí. Do it there. Hazlo ahí. If you are there. Estás allí. Do it there. Hazlo allá. The work is the same. El trabajo es el mismo. And we know we have to do it. Sabemos que tenemos que hacerlo. The place, maybe we have the good place. Que tengamos un buen lugar. Maybe we have a wrong place. Tenemos un lugar malo. Wherever we are, no sé qué es. We start to do it. Empieza a hacerlo. That happens in Acts 8. Eso sucedió en Hechos 8. You know, when the first church, cuando la primera iglesia, were persecuted, were persecuted, when they have to run, tuvieron que correr. So they run to all the places. Corrieron a todos los lugares. And what they did? Lo que hicieron? It says next day. Dijeron al siguiente día. They start to preach the gospel. Empezaron a predicar el evangelio. And start the disciple movement. Empezaron And what, what they learned in Jerusalem? Lo que aprendieron en Jerusalén. To become a disciple. Convertirse en un discípulo. And to make a disciple. Y hacer discípulo. And later on. Y después. Wherever they were. Donde sea que iban. They start to make disciples. Empezaron a ser discípulos. That is why I think in Jerusalem. Yo pienso que en Jerusalén. They are this. They did make disciples. Ellos hicieron discípulos. Because in the persecution. Porque en la persecución. Wherever the believers are. Donde sea que los creyentes fueron. They. Start to preach and make disciples. I have average every every week. Somebody is calling me. Alguien me llama. And said, now I am here in this village. Estoy aquí en este pueblo. And I look for a good church. Estoy buscando una buena iglesia. You know, a church who is open for the Holy Spirit. Iglesia que está abierta para el Espíritu Santo. And where they can bless me. Quizás me puedan bendecir. And even for my kids. Incluso que bendiga a mis hijos. They have a good program. Van a tener un buen programa. So can you give me an address? Dame una dirección de. I said, yeah, yeah. Le digo, sí, sí. Take your address. Toma tu dirección. Start your church in your house. Empieza tu iglesia en tu casa. Make disciples. Y el discípulo. And then they are exactly like you like to have them. Then this this church will be exactly like. Ah, esta iglesia va a ser exactamente como tú la quieres. Because you train them. Porque tú lo vas a entrenar. You give them the Holy Spirit. Te vas a dar el Espíritu Santo. You baptize them. Vas a bautizarlos. So then they are exactly as what you like. Van a ser exactamente como a ti te gusta. Ah, do you think really? Así tú crees realmente sí. Yeah. Sí. Vale. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. This is now a new idea. Me llamamos. And then yeah. It's normal in the end, you know. Sí. But at least they they don't. Call me again. Yeah. They know that is not the good place. Because they know that it's not a good place for buying iglesias. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That is now the point. Es el punto ahora. You know, when Paul was his first mission trip. El primer viaje misionero de Pablo. So here we have Turkey today. Turquía hoy en día. And here. Antalya, Antalya is still there today. Antalya, do you have the city? Ephesus is still there. Ephesus, do you have that? But in his first mission trip, his first mission trip, Paul was here in the south of Turkey. Paul was here in the south of Turkey. And then he went a little bit higher. He went a little bit higher. He went a little bit higher. And walked on the high land. He walked on the high land. A little bit to eastwards. Un poco hacia el este. So from here, Antalya, Antalya, Perge, and the Dulustra, luego Dulustra, and Derbe, luego Derbe. And here, if you go from Antalya, si va de Antalya up to Perge, a Perge, I I was there. Yo estuve allí in summer, en el verano. That is, that's too much. Es demasiado. You know that is so hot. Es demasiado caliente. If you walk here up from Antalya to Perge, that is like this. Es una una subida en la montaña. And then. As soon I was there with my wife on this hill, in this mountain, then I understood why John Mark said, "Now I have the idea." Now I have the idea. 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 Now I have
<laughs> and he left the team <laughs> without asking the, the opinion from the others. <laughs> they didn't clarify very well <laughs> how we leave the team. You know? <laughs> and then he ran home. You know? That is why Paul said, no, this guy I don't want next time. You know? As soon as we walk a little bit up, but it is brutal. You know? it's, it's, it's terrible hot. You know? <laughs> okay. But then Paul was here in the second mission trip. And then in the third one here in Ephesus. And you know, he did he didn't stay the full time here. And he didn't stay full time here. So he left. And then he did mentoring. So he visited these places and he uh, wrote letters, solve, help to solve the problems. So the mentoring is also an aspect of what we have to do when we work with such movements. Because if you come here, si tú aquí, you have a short training, un corto, and then you go and do it. Vas y lo haces. Uh, you are not here three years. No estás aquí tres años. You are not like uh, Jesus trained his disciples, his apostles, un y no como Jesús con for three years. years. Por do, por tres años. You are three weeks. Semanas, por so I think to fill the gaps, Así yo creo que para los they huevos, are still there. Que quedan, uh, you, you need a mentoring. Uh, so that is. Uh, a wise uh, advice, you know. Es un consejo sabio que se puede hacer. Because only if you start to work, porque solo si empieza a caminar, a lot of questions will come up. Van a salir muchas preguntas entonces. Uh, and this question, estas preguntas, when they come up, cuando salen, then it's interesting to talk es with somebody. Es interesante hablar con alguien de estos temas. And to learn how to do it. Y aprender cómo hacerlo. And before, y antes, yeah, it's not so interesting. No está interesante hablar. Because it's not real. Porque no es real. You speak about some problems. Todo lo de unos problemas. But when the problems are here, cuando el problema está aquí, then it's thrilling. Entonces es interesante. Yeah. So we, we will a little bit look at the, the mentoring uh, system. So now I would like to, before we do the mentoring, I would like to do this one. So that is now from my side. Uh, that is not a commandment. That is uh, an expectation. That is uh, a wish. Es un deseo. And that is what I like to challenge you. Esto es lo que me gustaría desafiarnos. Uh, that everybody of you, que cada uno de ustedes, will start the movement. Comience un movimiento. Not everybody in the same place. No todo el mundo en el mismo lugar. Wherever donde you sea, are sent, que tú seas enviado. There you will do it. Tú lo vas a hacer. Uh, that is what I always give It's as Homework. Siempre lo doy como una tarea. So now go and do it. Para vayan y hagan. And what I expect, y lo que yo espero, that you go home, que vayan a casa, and you find somebody, y encuentres a alguien, you can go out and con el, make disciples. Con el que puedas salir y hacer discípulos. And often people say, a menudo la gente dice, no hay, by my own. No, yo soy por mí solo. There is nobody around. No hay nadie que esté conmigo. Who is really going with me? No hay nadie que realmente vaya conmigo. And Because nobody is around. Y como no tengo a nadie, I wait. Yo espero. Maybe next year. Quizás el otro año. The Lord sends somebody. Dios me envía a alguien. Maybe in ten years. Quizás en diez años. But till then. Pero hasta, hasta entonces. And that is not accepted. Esto no es aceptable. So that is why you go home. Es por eso que ustedes van a casa. And you call Ustedes one, llaman. two, three, four, five people. Uno, dos, one, tres, cuatro. Five, huh? Entre uno y cinco personas van a ir.